And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Garen Tarek. This is a deck that a viewer submitted from another content creator, Raf Terra, has been playing this deck um, quite a bit. That's This is his deck and uh, we, I had a viewer here that was like, I want I want to see this deck on stream. I want, want you to try it out. So that's what we're going to do. We have Tarek, one of my favorite champions. Garen, another champion I like quite a bit. I do like playing Demacia decks a lot, so this deck's right up my alley. Um, we are, we have like a, a deck that's going to be going wide. We have eight one drops in here. Um, got a couple of two drops. We got a couple of new cards. Honored Lord, um, is in here over a card like War Chefs, like where you think, well, well, like War Chefs would help out Tarek and, and War Chefs is great with Laurent Protégé. Maybe we should be playing that, but we kind of need this Honored Lord in here with the Elite to help out the Penitent Squire is we really want to behold an elite for this squire because if we do we get this tattered banner in hand and this tattered banner can be very useful um with especially with some of our top end cards you know being able to give garen or Tarek um or sithria challenger could be very useful so yeah it looks pretty good um there's there's lots of different spells you can play in this kind of deck you know not seeing a card like repo like a card like repose seems like it could do a lot during combat um, and also be a, a really good card for Tarek to copy over, similar to Golden Ages. That's definitely going to be a big strength of our deck, though, with Tarek with Golden Ages. Um, but then also, uh, you know, like a card like Single Combat is usually, like whenever we play Garen, you usually want to have Single Combat to be able to help Garen strike. And with Garen with Regeneration, how Garen's usually bigger than everything else. Um, but we're not we're not going with those. We're, you know, going with this list, uh, trying it out. We're going to try um how this all works so let's let's uh give it a try so garen Tarek, five games over in ranked oh it looks like we got a mirror match to start out with all right first deck mirror match so in the mirror let's see so we have two one drops to start with and a couple of sharp sights i definitely love sharp sight I don't know if we need two one drops, and I actually don't really know if we need the Fleet Feather Tracker. I think our stuff's gonna kind of trade. I kind of want to keep both sharp sights though. It's just an excellent card. I don't want them to block, honestly. I hope they don't block. Because I'm holding Bannerman. But we got a chance to sneak in two damage, so that's good. My shield is yours. Steel is yours. Our protege is a good draw. Wanted to keep the 2-2 alive because of Bannerman. I ran as fast as I could. Run them through. Alright, hope they don't have Sharp Sight of their own. This is just such a bad play against Sharp Sight. Yeah, so they did not. So, so they do not behold an elite. Do not have one. I'm ready to shine. This does look like all right. So now if they they have that sharp side, they sharp side the Tarek and then copy it over to the tracker. And have the four three challenging. So it'll be a four three tough. All right, now Pell Cascade does work out better for them than what Sharpside would have in this spot, how he gets to draw two. Unyielding. They are in firm command. This will not take long. Let 
there in firm command. Would have loved to save the sharp sight for Tarek, but I guess we just gotta play it. We are down a bunch of cards, but game's not over yet. Hmm. I must reach the king. I ran as fast as I could. Raise the banner, lift our spirits. Harry, repose. You are hard. Protect and strike. The reason to want to trade stuff is because they could have another Bannerman. And I obviously do not have another Bannerman, but if they have another one... Yeah, the attack token made a, a real big difference here, I, I agree. the, Because, yeah, like the turn 2 attack with having the, um, you know, Tracker plus Bright Steel Protector and then the turn 2 attack, like that's, that's absolutely perfect, right? Like that's like the dream scenario. And then having turn 4 attack with Taric, with Taric Pill Cascade, also again, dream scenario, so... Um, two things that made a, a real big difference. Like, yeah, if we have the attack token 2 4, I'm keeping Fleet Feather Tracker instead of Scythria if we have the attack token then. And then, yeah, like we drew the Bright Seal Protector, so we would have had the Barrier Bright Seal Protector, and then we would have had the Taric on 4. Right? Like, this basically just would have all gone the other way. So I want to play the, this banner before the Taric. Yeah, I guess it is too. Means I'm not sharp siding, but that also just basically means I'm not blocking. game. Yeah, that was one where the, the attack token really did just kind of determine that. Well, more Demacia Targon. Alright, so we're going to... Uh, I mean, I could kind of see keeping... Like, Scythria is going to be an important card to have. Like, we have the attack token, the even turn, so, like, dropping Scythria on six and attacking... Honestly, is pretty important. I already got my one drop, two drop. So I'm looking for... So I have, like, three draws for a turn three play, then four draws for a turn four play. I think that's acceptable. If I didn't already have, like, a one, two, I wouldn't be keeping Scythria. But since I already have a one, two... I feel like I can keep it. The young prince will be found. They will sing of our deeds. The announcements in patch announcements either in thirty minutes or an hour and a half, one of the two. Down to eight. Single combat would be looking pretty nice here to go along with this Garen.
Why that one? They're worried about barrier. How are you how are you expecting me to give that thing challenger? So yeah, I could have attacked for lethal with like challenging over to the side, but I can still do that. Now the Scythria allowed me to attack for even more, because if they would have played another blocker here, then we would have had the protege also challenge, and then you know we would have had two sixes and the four, which would have been more damage. They did not end up looking like they had a very good hand. But we'll, so we'll take it. Algorithm works. Ha! I had to say something. <laughs> I had to say it. Uh, so I just I just said that every deck that we had that we that we were going to play against was either going to have Demacia or Targon. Um, which you know this deck does not have Demacia or Targon. <laughs> All right, so we'll keep double Mannerman. Hoping for some more cheap units to play, you know, turn two, turn three before Bannerman, but, you know, Bannerman is quite strong. Bright Steel Protector on top. Bright Steel Protector, Spread Sharp Sight. New recruit reporting in. All right, gonna get this in. Yeah, we won the last game. I pull the strings. Help! Somebody help! Our opponent didn't do that much the last game. Skitter out from the darkness. We're still fine. You know, like if, if we just keep on trading off resources and uh, keep our life total high, our larger units are going to take over the late game. Yeah, I definitely like Garen with Challenger. Just yeah, just add five power to Braum. <laughs> okay, thanks for the donation deck there, guy in shades. Couple challengers. One or two or five. They appeared out of nowhere. Well, it's a good friend's skitter. Alright, so Brothers Bond is the scariest card. Raise the banner. Lift our spirits. We stand strong. We stand strong. There we go. Five challengers. GG's. All right, Ophelia Zoe. They're going with uh, Boxtopus. Okay, we're definitely mulliganing both Cythrias. As far as Bannerman goes, um,. I'm gonna mulligan Bannerman too. Hey, we got a Tarek. 
Uh, we do not have the attack token turn four, unfortunately. Squire. I could have had you earlier. Like on turn one. So by not playing there, I get to save three spell mana so that I can have like Banner plus Taric. Still have Box to Puss. Alright, so that's too bad. I gotta use the sharp sight right here. Um, which means, you know, I don't get to. Don't get to use sharp sight to block the Zoe. This card looks like it could be pretty good. Same with the Zoe card. These cards may be going places. You think the patch notes are in four minutes? It's either, it's either in four minutes or an hour in four minutes. So if I, if I play something else right now, they just go super cool star chart and then grab and then stun my Tarek, which would be bad. Zoe's at six, and I can't block Zoe. So Felios is also just killing me with moon weapons. This works out better for me if they have Hush, right? Like if I, if I challenge the Felios, they Hush the Tarek. Be a good time for a bannerman or a protege. Yeah, I need them. I can't play Golden Ages first because of the Gravitum. Perfect. That's what I was hoping. So I didn't want to like you know I wanted them to stun something else. They can get a three four. So they're not even with them not getting the three four. We're just going to attack with everything. Oh, they hadn't used Veil Temple yet, so they still have multiple mana. So they can still hush. Uh so they can still hush. So they hush, they still trade. I wonder if I just challenge. Challenge this. Hush is a problem. Never submit. Unyielding. There is nowhere left to go but up. 
hush is a problem. Looks like that, that was my opponent's plan, probably. Oh, that's so nice, getting a zero mana card where you can still keep Hush available. That's so nice. Why am I not challenging the 2-1? I guess... That's what I figured. I figured like the 2-1 would block one of these and then Aphelios would block one of those. So it doesn't really matter with the 2-1 or the 1-1. But I guess they can hush this thing. Okay, well. Definitely should challenge the 2-1. Okay, so they just pass to me. Like, attacking isn't lethal. They usually play a whole bunch of, like, star shapings and stuff like that, too. So, like, attacking just and trying to do 8 damage, like, when their deck's filled with Guiding Touch, star shaping, that kind of stuff. Like, Targon decks, um, just, you know, 8 damage doesn't kill them. But it looks like maybe they are kind of AFK. So if they're not going to be acting, I'll try for 8. So not the best end to the game. But we still got to do Golden Age Asteric. And that was cool. I don't know if like we win this game you know, straight up if they don't disconnect. Honestly, probably not. But Alright, Lucian Azir. For game number 5. This should be a good matchup. We should be able to go larger than them. I want to keep Ranger's Resolve. That, that's a very useful spell against Sand Soldiers. But we're going to need some bodies. All right, we got one body. A very good body. Those two work well together. All right, so if I take turn two off, I can save two spell mana, and we can use one spell mana for the Ranger's Resolve, and then the other spell mana for the Tattered Banner. Tattered Banner. That's pretty fun to say. Tattered. Tattered is a fun word to say. Tattered Banner. Can't stop the plus three plus one. Okay, cool. Tattered banner. For the prince. Years take, experience gives. All right, well, I don't think I pass on nine damage halfway, you know, 50% of their life total. Even though it does allow them to play stuff post-combat. Like this. But we got the Golden Ages.
Hopefully they let this happen. And my 5-4 can challenge this Azir. It's at 9 out of 10. Yay. All right, they're on to five. Fast turn to me. Almost. Okay. Do I... No. Basically, you know, like, do I play the Cithria or just attack? And it's definitely Cithria. And there we go. Alright, ended with the 4 1. Alright, so pretty good showing there for Garen at Tarek with the 4 1. Really, probably should have been a 3 2 that if Elios opponent, like, like they would have won that game 4 if they continued to play, but, you know, they went AFK. Um, but really should have been a 3 2. But also, we just saw the patch 2.5 came out and Aphelios has been nerfed. So. The opponent was cheating anyway <laughs> with two mana moon weapons. So uh, if they didn't have two mana moon weapons, maybe we would have one. <laughs> we can think of it like that. All right, but uh, there we go. Pretty good list. Pretty good list. Um, I wasn't really that sure about Rangers Resolves, but we did play against some go wide decks, and we're also a go wide deck, and so they helped out um, in those kind of matchups. Um, we didn't get too much Tarek. I was, you know, wondering if we had like enough spells for Tarek, but we didn't really draw Tarek too much. So that didn't matter too much. Um, but yeah, went pretty good. Went pretty good. All right. So anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you like with the changes with Balance Patch 2.5. Which ones are your favorite? Uh, what kind of decks do you really want to see coming up next? You know, like after this Balance Patch. Um, you know, what kind of decks do you want to see me play? All right, but but anyway, that's it here for Garen Tarek. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.